Yo, abusia mi man kran kran bi akwaba e the best spiritual hour. Jumidi kasi so I believe to you. I believe to you. I believe to you wherever you are and I send you love. I send you love. I send you love. Mi man kran kran bi ajo. Okay. And you bring we dey um as a tia we be na me I think this will be the shortest video I may here e wo spiritual hour. Platform is so now, I dare me person make a one some nobody to me a friend is say a spiritual psychological operation. Spiritual psychological operation, and I want to send it as a signal now, as a caution. And so, so to Niger, Mali, Burkina, and South Africa, especially Ghana, so your part like all African continent, the leaders. I want, I just want to send this to them. Now, there is a new wave of struggle to break away from post-colonial control in Africa. And it is of great interest to me as a spiritual visionary. This editorial, I will focus on key reasons why we should not be too happy about how things are going so far in Niger Mali, South Africa, and Burkina Faso. I want everybody, every living soul that can hear my voice to transport this message to every leader that is closer to you. Why are the ancestors telling us to be careful of these events on the continent? Whatever that is happening, our ancestors are involved. They are here with us. And this is what they are telling us, to be very, very careful. I want everybody to take this message very serious. And I'm going to take my time to break this down. So I'm just going to be brief about this, but I want this to be a dear Edda Ubiya Kuma. So it should be important to every child, every black person. Because there is this wind blowing and I think some people are not happy about the wind that is blowing. So our ancestors sent me to tell each and every one of us to be very, very careful. And I'm going to be brief and I'm not going to talk much because I don't want to say things that I'm not supposed to say. And I will take my time and break this thing down for us. But before I proceed... I want us to watch this video. This is coconut. Kubeu. Kubea e wudu ya nasu. So when we said it here. And I had to for sale. And they are bought kubeno. It was raw. Kubeno wudu ya nasu. And tea ye nye she. It wudu ya nasu. Obiye e chema uhun kubeno. And tea. Anka obi chemu no hu kube no na opeso oto a obebisa na wato because in sea roadside it's actually in a hotel um, compound to so, be a bakwa obi hu opeso oto a obebisa na wato but kube no was ro e wo ni origin mu ni originality ni dwelling aya tro for sale e de abo kube no hu e wo kube dua no so Mama yi na ye nshe. Afi mama ye nshe bibi ki tuwe bi nswe. We ye ko festival. Na as the. Omo yo omo rituals. As they were performing their rituals. No, these messages were coming to me. So I asked them to do a video for me. Nti mwe hun. This is a sheep. That they are coming to use for sacrifice. Look at the place where we are here. The ship is not seeing any of its kind here. In fact, the ship, the ship is already in a shackle and now in a, a rope. Oma chichere no abwa ahumim. Na uhu no no. And these people have surrounded this ship, preparing to kill the ship. In fact, the ship was brought here to be killed. But ahumano wani kono a owa hani yinano. Mungu se, omu itu ni ocha nungweshi, omu oto njumu. And so, ujainu, ana udi, ori, the sheep is eating. When it's about to die, the sheep is eating. Now, 
look at this video to look at all the cows and all the sheep you see here. All these sheep and cow, they are here for sacrifice. They will kill them any moment from now. But they've given them um, um, weeds to eat. And they are also eating, though they are in ropes. And they are about killing them. But they are still eating and drinking because it's been given weed and water to, uh, to be fed on. Now, when you look at all these things, what comes to mind? Usha, kube isi wano, yade fose la bongu kube duya nusu. Ena, ujayi, a omube kuno da ahu memu. A ye chanu mwe siya, o omu nini ye ujayi biya wa hano. O wi ura no. Den su ye bekuno. E, nen chuye ni impon, in ujayi wa ha uhu nina su ye bekuno mo. Den su ye shade che ure guha mo mo. So omu re. Yati nsu o nsu e si kwa mo mo. So omu ndi. A ye tse ya ye omu papa. En so nye papa biya ni ya ye omu. E ba biku omu. Now the question is this. Let this question go to individual. It's because we are superior over these animals. Inti no. Ye ti mi e chi omu. Na ye ku omu. Eni how. I am asking this question. How we die. Let's think about it. Is there any energy or any entity that are also superior than us? That can actually catch anybody and kill just like we catch these animals and kill? That is individual question. Everybody should think about it. Because how we die, we don't know. We are eating and in the next minute, accident, somebody is dead. We will be here and the next minute, someone slept and they didn't wake up. How? Who is controlling our life? Who is controlling our death? That is individual question for this. Now, um, I want everybody listening to me to look at this situation and compare it to Africans. Is this our condition? Are we in our land like the coconut is hanging on the tree but they've written for sale on it? Is this the situation of Africa? Look at the situation of the sheep. He's here to be killed, but he's eating. Is that the situation of Africans? And look at all these sheep and all these cow. They are about killing them, but they've given it food and water. Please, is this a situation for Africans? I want everybody to think about this. The ancestors want me to tell you people to be careful. As for, I think Ghanaians are also part. Because when something is trying to send a signal of war to people, this is what divides us the more as Africans. All I'm saying is the ancestors are saying, we should be very, very, very careful. So whatever that is happening, that is making Mali and Niger to drive away France and Europeans from taking their natural resource, it should be good news. But why are the ancestors telling us to be careful? Say Mali for, any Niger for, I say France for almost far more resource no mineral no more the electricity more omo France for the electricity omo Niger for no more Nibi omo Nikania it is omo kase omo pamu omo anka ube kase ya sem papa it is why are the ancestors saying saying say we should be careful if the Niger people are driving away the Europeans for taking their resources. Why should the ancestors or ancestors be telling us to be careful? It's a short message, but I want everybody to take this message very seriously. So why should this be a problem for the ancestors to say that they should be careful? They are never wrong. 
they are always right. Why? Because they are in the realms that they cannot do or see anything here, but they see themselves through our eyes. They smell through our nose. They hear through our ears and they even eat through our mouth. So they see what we cannot see as normal human beings. So if anything is happening and they are cautioning us that we should be careful, we have to be careful. Now, let's look at this. Africa has been in bondage for thousands of years. Our oppressors have never given us true freedom. They just move us from one problem to another. Africa, we've gone through a whole lot for 500 years to 600 years. Africa is going through a whole lot from slave trade, from the, the point is, um, let's use Ghanaians. Ghanaians are using the laws of uh, British and they are using their English. British rule with kings and queens. Why do we have parliament? There's a lot of questions to ask. But what I'm saying is that what is happening now, the ancestors are saying we should be very, very careful because we've never had freedom. I think we did this not long ago. I told you that um, we, we, the independence we have, we are not seeing it. Now look at what is happening. 2023, West Africa is likely living in a psychological oppression engineered by our oppressors. I'm saying this. I want this. Please send this to all your leaders if you can hear me. We've never been free we move from one problem to another. They keep polishing our us. They keep polishing up on us every day. They bring, they create new things from our food, from our culture, and everything is being in the process just to make sure we change into something. But now a wind is blowing, a kind of um, um, a psychological freedom is being preached and. I think the ancestors are also trying to see if they can help us get gain our consciousness and our freedom. But this very particular move, they are saying we should be careful. Why are they saying so? I proceed. Our oppressors always engineered something new. And they make us to signal a war sound against us. That will keep us divided all the time. Because don't forget, when we unite, we stand. When we divide, we fall. So I am sending this message to all African leaders. Whatever that is happening, before you negotiate, before you make any move, think about your neighbor. We break uh, from the oppressors. You don't break from a great neighbor. We are one people. I have said this last week. What is happening? Ancestors are saying we should be careful. I just gave you a little video about a goat, a cow, and then the coconut. Is this our condition? Is it like we are in our territory, but we don't own ourselves? Are we like we are eating, they are feeding us with anything, but they can hold you and kill you anytime they want? Is it our condition? Oh, what can we do? Just like the good. Thinking of living a new life and partying in independence, it was sacrificed. Okay, or you? Before it's been killed. We should be careful. Whatever negotiations, whatever rules, whatever controls, we have to be careful because a wind is blowing. We have to be very, very, very careful. In the same way, we may be given just a small space to enable them to start a new way to control us again. If we are not careful, if we are not careful, we will turn in against ourselves, kill ourselves, and we will leave our land for strangers. 
I think Af every African should take this video very seriously. It is a psychological operation. That's what I call it. Anytime something is about happening, they will signal a war ag against us and then you, out of fear, the war signs will give a, a, some kind of fear that will activate the reptilian cortex and all the those who are freedom fighters will be killed or they will lose their lives or they will keep silence. Then they keep ruling us. But the way we will handle this thing is not the way it should go. We should handle this thing with a great mind because they are using great minds against this continent. So the ancestors are saying, I should tell every one of us to be careful. The leaders, if you sit for a meeting, Put your fellow African before any other instructions, if this is possible. Our ancestors sent me to warn Niger, Mali, Burkina Faso, and the entire Ecowas, Maka, that because they are on a path of free, freeing their minds and spirits, the enemy has planned a divisionary tactics that would divide us and make it easy for their next operation in order to continue controlling us. Whatever we want to do, we have to place love first. Whatever we think we want to do, even if we want to bring peace, it should be done with love. Because now people are waking. People have their consciousness. And when people have their consciousness, fear is not part. So people like that, you don't use force with them. But you have to have a great conversation that you communicate with them with love. That is the only thing a conscious person understands, love. We have to be careful the way we handle things else. We will destroy ourselves and our land will be empty for them. And trust me, that will be somebody's joy. We have to be careful the way we handle this. If you were a leader, you have to understand the cause of the people and then you guide them with love. People are beginning to wake up. Blacks are beginning to vibrate towards one goal. Africans all over are beginning to question religious dogmatism, shambolic education, and slave-like working conditions. You work, they don't pay you. People use people. Everything that is happening, people are asking questions about it. And when you realize that the things that people could not say in 10 years, now they have ability to say them. The questions people would, would cannot couldn't ask in 20 years, now they are asking. Things people couldn't say in 30 years, now they are saying them. It, it tells that a wind of awakening is, 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 is blowing. And when those, that kind of, or those kind of wind blows, it blows fear away. So if you want to correct any error, you don't use force. Because the person you are going to confront has nothing like fear. But what it love is love. So you talk to them with love and again recognize your skin color and your neighbor before any other instructions or negotiations. This is very important. This is a message from your ancestor and my ancestor. The black man is beginning to fight a mental war. We are asking questions. And the oppressors is not happy at all because they know that once we are mentally, our collective vibration alone sets us free and they are not happy at all. Leaders, you are leading us and you are our hope. We had alpha males. They went through things for us. Some leaders were buried alive at the slave trade. We all went there the other time. And if you know, you go there, you will know. 
that people have been buried here alive. We don't have to forget anything that has happened to us. So if you have been selected as a leader and you are sitting on this case, I want you to understand that your ancestor is watching you. And any decision that you make, any negotiation that you make, put your fellow black man first before you make any decision. Put your fellow black man first before you do any negotiation. Put your fellow black man first and let love, love, love be among us. We break out of our oppressors. We don't break out of our good neighbors. I want everybody to think about this. So this coup d'etat and freedom uprising on the continent may warm our hearts for a moment, but let's not be too comfortable. Let's not think it's over. Let's not be like the goat having its last meal before being sacrificed. We have to calculate. We have to understand. We have to judge. We have to care for each other. We have to hold hands. We have to watch each other's back. Anything we are doing, the continent is close to freedom. Mentally, spiritually, physically. But our oppressors, are they quiet? Are they okay? Are they happy? Would they sit down to watch this thing happen? Think about it and write your answers in the comment section. Like I said, this is the shortest video I am doing because I can't say everything they say. But I can only say a little. Let us all think about this. If you know someone, call the person and talk to the person to put us in prayer. Whatever the person's belief is, whether Christian, whether Muslims, whether it seems nobody is talking about this. But we have to be careful because as one people, when the fire starts from the north, before you know it is in the south, before you know it is in the west, before you know it is in the north, we are one people. Let's try and help our fellow black man in need. Let's judge all with them. Let's bring peace and love into our continent. This is what we have. We should not make ourselves strangers in the land. We've been targeted since birth. Few in Africa have a clue who they really are. Those who have a clue even find it difficult to talk about it. This is a message from your ancestor. I plead from the bottom of my heart, from, from the bottom of my heart, I send this message through the air, through the wind, through waters, through fires, to everybody's heart. If you have a minister, a president, a leader as a husband, you were a woman, speak through to his heart. He should put the continent first, he should put his fellow black first before any negotiation and before any, any um, agreement. We can't die again like before. It's enough. We have gone through a lot. We can stop it and we can make it happen again. Let, it, let us stop it. We should not allow this to happen again. I think we've, we have suffered enough. They will never let us go. They will forever work on, on new ways to keep us under control in different forms. This is what they wish. This is what they can do. We can also do something when we unite and we allow the wind of love to blow among us. I want everybody to think about this. Where we are now, are we like the goats? Or we are like the, the, the coconuts? or the cow and the sheep. What are we like as Africans? Wherever you are, think about this. I, have, I don't have much to say. All I'm saying is when you say a prayer, say one for this continent. And all the leaders, whatever decision you make, make sure you communicate with love because the people now have their consciousness and the wind itself is blowing. Shalom. Peace.